You are listening to Mary Tyler Mohawk, featuring music from First Nation artists on Gunasanagi United Voices Radio, CKHQ 1017 FM. CKHQ FM 101.7, which has been broadcasting since 1987 from the Gunasadage Mohawk Territory, is fighting against a CRTC application that may see their airwaves disappear to a Christian music station in La Chute, just 35 kilometers away. Gunasadage community member Sid Gardagoharde Gaspe says the radio station is close to his heart and was also pivotal in launching his longtime career with Radio Canada. Gaspé says he's going to fight for CKHQ's frequency. I co-founded this station with many other community members and we worked really hard at getting this in the mid-80s and I'm back to save the frequency of 101.7 for the community of Gunasadage. Gaspé says for 35 years CKHQ has played a vital role in the Mohawk community. It's important for any Indigenous community to have a radio station, certainly to promote language and culture. And this is what we want to do here in Ganasadage and continue doing. Former radio host for 101.7 FM, Celine Gaspé, a.k.a. Mary Tyla Mohawk, says she doesn't want to see Ganasadage without a station. I'm promoting First Nations voices out there in they're trying to take our voice away. So 101.7 will just disappear, be taken away, just like all the other things they, t- they try to steal from us. So I think, try to keep our voices, and uh, so I'm ready to uh, fight any way I can to help keep our voices. And that fight continues with the help of Michel Mathieu, a longtime broadcasting consultant that has been volunteering his time to defend CKHQ's frequency and explains why the station's airwaves are vulnerable. We have different uh, class of license in Canada. When, uh, when you are in what we call the low power, which is 50 watts or less, you are not protected. And that means exactly what's happening here. So in, that, in other words, when you're LP, non-protected, it means that if somebody else needs the frequency and the CRTC grants them the right to that frequency, then you have to either find yourself another frequency or vacate the airwaves. Unfortunately, in this case, as we're that close to Montreal and FM frequencies are uh, hard to find every day, I'm not so sure there would be another frequency for CKHQ. And if there is one, it would certainly not have the quality of broadcast that the 101.7 frequency offers. Mathieu has filed an intervention and has requested a hearing to appear in front of the CRTC, which will also allow the voices of the Mohawk people to be heard, like Garakuyusta Jacobs Nelson, a community elder and longtime supporter of CKHQ. <laughs> The request for your journey, you know. Mm. Mm. Is it the U.S.A.? Yeah, U.S.A. Yeah, yeah. 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 Garakuyusta says her feelings on the possibility of another station taking over CKHQ's airwaves are simple. I tell him to go to hell. No, I don't want the radio station to go. Yeah. Yeah. FNTV reached out to a representative for the Christian music station, Reverend Ho Blake, for comment. Blake stated he had no comment and directed FNTV to contact the firm LS Telecom, who is handling their CRTC application. As of broadcast time, FNTV did not receive a callback. Meantime, Gaspé says several attempts were made to contact the other station since discovering their CRTC application to broadcast on CKHQ's frequency. We reached out before there was a deadline to intervene. A CRTC has a procedure where you can intervene in any application before they go to a hearing, and that uh, deadline was uh, April 26th. So since we didn't get any uh, word from them, 
we had to intervene. So we sent in an in intervention to this application through our broadcast consultant. Mathieu says the intervention needed to happen. In this case, it is very unfair to the Mohawk people because the station CKHQ has been providing a service and build a momentum here since 1987. They're providing a valuable service to the community. A sentiment which Gunasadage Grand Chief O.D. Simon echoes. Uh, I think it's a very important. Uh, we really need to work on our communications in Ganasadaga and uh, a free press, uh, you know, a radio station, newspaper. I mean, we're so behind. Uh, we got to do everything we can to bring all this uh, for a healthy and vibrant community. CKHQ filed the intervention with the CRTC on April 26th, but no news yet on the fate of 101.7 FM's future. But we are the Mohawks of Kanasadage, and we are going to defend our airwaves. Reporting here in Kanasadage, I'm Regan Jacobs for First Nations TV.